what is the rectangular components of the force? It is simply this part of the force that's found when a force F is resolved into the horizontal and the vertical components. Consider this two-dimensional XY coordinate system. If a force F is acting at an angle theta with the x-axis as shown here, the rectangular component is Fx and Fy is determined by Fx equals F times cosine of theta and Fy equals F times sine of theta. However, if the angle theta is met with the y-axis, the x component of the force fx equals f times sine of theta and the y component of the force fy equals f times cosine of theta. I hope that was very easy. Now let's go to the examples and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button. So. Solution. Let's draw our xy coordinate system. This is the x and this is the y. And our force F is acting like this F equals 100 Newton in magnitude. And this force F makes an angle of 30 degrees with the x axis. An angle of theta equals 30 degrees so in question a we are asked to determine the x and the y components of the force f or the rectangular components of the force f hence if we have the angle theta if the force f makes an angle of theta with the x-axis we say that we say that fx equals f times cosine of theta hence here f equals 100 newton 100 times cosine of theta equals 30 degrees so if we multiply this you have 100 times cosine of 30 degrees we have 86.6 newtons Similarly, if we have theta with the x-axis, the y component of the force F can be simply calculated by F times sine of theta. So here, substituting the values, 100 times sine of theta equals 30 degree. So if we multiply this, we will have 100 times sine of 30 degrees. We have simply 50 newtons. So this is the answer. The x component of F equals 86.6 Newton and the y component of F equals 50 Newtons. In question B, we are asked to determine to write F in the vector form. So the force F in the vector form will have here two components, the x component and the y component. The x component will be indicated by i, unit vector i, and the y component represented by a unit vector j. So here, fx in the i plus fy in the j. Now, when you are writing the vector form of the force, we have to focus on, we have to give attention on the quadrants of the force. Here, our force is acting in the first quadrant, where x is positive and y is also positive. So, both components are positive. Here, fx equals 86.6, 86.6 in the i plus fy equals 50 in the j, where both have a unit of Newton.
in question 2 we are given let me draw the x and the y coordinate system so in question a so the force that we are given is acting like this f equals 150 newton and the angle is again given theta equals 60 degree with the x-axis so here we are asked to determine the rectangular components of this force so the x component and the y component can be the x component is if we draw if we extend a line here so this is the x component fx and if we draw a horizontal line like this this is the y component fy so again we can use the previous uh, the previously derived formula where fx equals f times cosine of theta so here equals f is given to be 150 times cosine of the angle is theta, uh, 60 60 we are again using cosine of theta because the angle given is with the x-axis so if we multiply this 150 times cosine of 60 here you have 75 newtons always don't forget to write the unit of measurement now fy equals f times sine of theta now here when we are deciding the directions of the force so if you have the x and the y coordinate system like this in the first quadrant we know that x is positive and the y is also positive in the second quadrant y is positive x is negative and in the third quadrant x is negative as well as y is also negative in the fourth quadrant we have x positive and y is negative now our force is acting in the fourth quadrant because our force is acting like this so it is in this quadrant so in this quadrant x is positive and y is negative so hence here we will write minus of 150 times sine of 60 degrees here you have 150 times sine of 60 degrees so it is minus of 129.9 newton okay 9.9 newton so now in question b you are asked it write the force f in the vector form i and j so the f equals fx in the i plus fy in the j now fx is positive here but fy is negative so therefore it is equal to 75 in the i minus 129.9 in the j all in Newton 4. So, uh, solution. For question number three. Again, let me draw for part. A. Let me draw the XY coordinate system. So the first force is acting in the second quadrant like this. And the angle is given to be 25 degrees. And this is F1 equals 50 kilo newton. So the unit of measurement is in kilo newton. So, and the second one is 
acting in the first quadrant and it is f2 equals 80 kilonewton again the unit of measurement is kilonewton and the angle that we are given is with the y 40 degrees now the rectangular component of f1 f1 has an x component and a y component the f1 x component is calculated by f1 times now let's see the angle the angle is given with the y so the x component of that force the x component of f1 will be f1 times sine of the given angle theta so here f1 is given to be 50 kilonewtons times sine of theta is 25 degrees so by using scientific calculator 50 times sine of 25 you have 21.13 if you write it in 21.13 kilo newton using two digits here and the y component f1y equals because the angle is made with the y so the y component will be f1 cosine of the angle theta where the angle theta here is given to be 25 degrees so here you have 50 kilonewtons times cosine of 25 degrees now a point to be noted is now this force is acting in the second quadrant in the second quadrant y is positive and x is negative so in our first step is negative here negative here okay so here you we have 50 times cosine of 25 50 times cosine of 25 here you have 45.315 we can say 32 45.32 kilo newtons <coughs> now in question b we are asked to determine to write this in the vector form so f1 the force f1 equals f1x in the i plus f1y in the j now f1x is negative because it is in the second in the second quadrant so here you will write minus 21.13 in the i and the y component is in the vertical because here the y component is acting like this and the x component is acting like this so this is f1x and this is f1y so here you have plus 45.32 in the j all in the bracket in kilo newtons For force 2, for force 2, F2x equals F2 again sine of 40 degrees because the angle is given with the y, so the x component will be determined by using the sine of the angle. So here F2 equals 80 times sine of 40 degrees this is equal to 80 sine of 40 51.42 kilo newton it's positive because the x component of the force f is this one f2x and the y component is again the vertical one so f 
2 y equals f 2 cosine of 40 degrees this is equal to 80 times cosine of 40 degrees this gives you 80 cosine of 40 61.28 61.28 in kilo newtons if you write it in the vector form f2 in the vector form equals f2x in the i plus f2y in the g f2x is positive f2y is also positive so it is 51.42 in the i plus 61.28 in the j all in kilo newtons well that's all for this video you have to know that your key for success is to make more practice as more practice makes you perfect if you have any questions or comments please write in the comment box below thank you see you next time